I'm Sheriff Roger Solden, and behind me stands the Sling County Jail. I'm going to take you on a walking tour through the jail, as at the moment we can't have visitors due to COVID-19. I'm standing outside the control room for the jail. Uh, every door in the facility is monitored and controlled from in here. We do have an exercise yard. I'd say that today the overhead doors are open to allow fresh air down into the yard. Inmates are let in the yard, but we only have one yard, so it has to be done by a schedule to allow each of the cells time to go out in the yard. This is one of the 64 bed pods on the in the jail. Uh, there's two 64 bed pods that are main housing area for men. They're broken down by security levels. This is a minimum security pod. You'll notice there's no there's no cages or anything separating the bunk areas from the rest of the jail. Each pod has 24 maximum security beds. These are single cells. There's a mezzanine, so each one of these has six on the main floor, six above it. And then medium security in this pod. And it's difficult to maintain or to paint because the jail is occupied 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and with the jail being full, we don't have time to move inmates out. One of the major issues with the uh, facility, this is this is the pod officer's desk. As you can see, he can't see anything that goes on in there except for the inmates that are working. They're standing in the windows of the pods. The new facility design will allow this officer to look into each one of these cells and see back to the individual cell doors of everyone. So if anyone's out of the side of their cell, he can see what they're doing and what's going on. No. Sorry. Um.